Hello! Today's verse is one of those where at first sight you might say, yes, that's obvious. Psalm 86 verse 5, you Lord are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. We read the Lord is essentially and independently good, good in himself, good to others, good to all, good to his own in the way of grace through Jesus. And we read in Matthew 19, verse 17, Jesus saying, there is only one who is good. In today's verse, the Lord is forgiving. Forgiveness through repentance and turning to Jesus, freely available to all through God's grace. Through Christ and faith in him, the Lord shows himself to be merciful. So what does that mean for us? Sounds quite cosy so far, but there's a challenge. In Mark 12, Jesus tells us, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. Paul writes in Colossians chapter 1 that he continually asks God to fill the Colossians with the knowledge and the way of the Spirit's wisdom and understanding, asking what the Spirit tells us to do. So what are we to do? Well, you may have heard of Augustine late 6th century he was a man sent to England to bring Christianity to the Anglo-Saxons who ruled at the time. He would ultimately become the first Archbishop of Canterbury as we now call it and establish one of medieval England's most important abbeys and kick-start the widespread conversion to Christianity. He once preached on 1 John 4 verses 4 to 12 where John calls us to love because love is of God, and because God first loved us. Sometimes he's misquoted, love God and do whatever you please. It can catch us off guard. It sounds like a license to live a double life. But the full quote is, love God and do whatever you please, for the soul trained in love to God will do nothing to offend the beloved one. So we're called to go out and praise God because he is love, crucially to spread his love to others so that they might see Jesus and see God the Father and be touched by the Holy Spirit. If I steal from Bishop, Donald, Bishop Donald's sermon from a couple of nights ago, we're called to be a lighthouse shining to others, not a cosy clubhouse. 